So this slide starts with a definition. I'd like you to pause the video and copy the definition before we continue. The definition is for coterminal angles. These are angles that have the same initial and terminal sides, but differ by a multiple of 360 degrees. In exercise number four, we're asked to find coterminal equivalents, and the directions say, find and draw four angles, two positive and two negative that are coterminal with the angle named. In question number seven, we are given and shown a 135 degree angle, and I need to seek out four other angles that are coterminal with it. Well, the first important thing to note is that the initial side and the terminal side of these four angles are gonna look exactly the same as this 135 degree angle. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and start with that. I'm gonna draw in the four initial sides of the angles I'm supposed to find. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw in the terminal sides. They too are going to look exactly like the terminal side of the angle given to me. The third component is going to be to draw in the directional arrows. You'll notice in the angle that's presented to me, I've got this portion of a loop. Well, for my next angle, I'm going to do a full sweep around the circle plus that extra portion. For the next one, I'm gonna go two full sweeps around the circle and then the extra portion. For my third case, I'm going to make the angle negative, which means I'm going to go clockwise. And then for the final case, I'm gonna do one full negative sweep around and then the extra portion. Now I have to figure out what these actual angle measurements are. And to do this, I'm gonna grab my calculator. And I'm gonna start with a home base of 135, and then I'm gonna add on to that 360, which would be one full revolution. When I do that, I get 495 degrees. Keep in mind, it's a full loop around, which is 360 plus an extra 135. Now I'm gonna go around twice and then add on this extra 135. So it's actually gonna be 720 plus the extra 135, which gives me 855. Now to figure out the negative angle, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with 135 and I'm going to subtract 360. This gets me negative 225. And for my fourth case, I'm gonna go back to my home base of 135 but this time I'm gonna subtract 720. And when I do this, I get negative 585. So to review, for my positive cases, I start with my home base of 135, and then I add 360, and then in this case, I added 720. For the negative case, I start with my home base of 135, and this time I subtract 360, and I subtract 720. Let's do example eight. In example eight, we start off with an angle that's negative 30, and I need to find four coterminal equivalents. Let's start by drawing in the initial sides of each. And now we'll draw in the terminal side, knowing that it's gonna look exactly like the angle that was presented to us. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put in the directional arrows. I'll do the positive ones first. And now I'll do the two negative ones. Keep in mind, my first one was already negative, so I've got to go a full sweep around and then do the extra portion. Now I have to do two full sweeps around and the extra portion. Now I'm going to grab my calculator to find these specific angle measures. For the positive versions, I'm going to start with my home base of negative 30 and then add 360. That gets me 330 degrees. I'll add 360 again which gets me 690 degrees. And for my two negative cases, I'll go back to my home base of negative 30, and this time I'm gonna subtract 360, getting me negative 390, then I'll subtract 360 again, getting me negative 750. So on this slide, we talked about angles that are coterminally equivalent. They have the same initial and terminal sides, but their angle measures differ by some multiple of 360.